Welcome one and all to this 12th episode of DND, which stands for Daddy and Daughter, where Daddy, that would be me, Mike, and Daughter, that would be you. Zoe. Right. We make games together, and this is the second season, uh, and today we're going to be working on our platformer. Now, as you can see, our main character here is a little... Um, Capsule. A little yellow capsule. That's no good, right? Mm -hmm. We want to introduce you guys to... Dun, 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 Hans. Hans. Look at him. Who is walking. Remember, we had made him walk. Well, I mean, the walk is a bit poor. We need to make the walk better. <laughs> <laughs> He's nodding his head like a crazy person. He's crazy. All right. So, <laughs> what we are going to do now, the first thing is we're going to move the armature just so we can uh, comfortably shift it about. So, let's go to object mode. Hit M. Okay, I'm going to put it on this layer over here, so it's under this. Just like this armature is here, this armature is here, okay? We're now also going to change the how these bones look like um, by selecting sticks. There we go. This is a little bit easier to deal with. Now, this is a fairly simple rig, right? Um, no special controls, no nothing. I can't see how this game is going to be too complicated, so, you know, we're going to keep this. All right, so let's go to pose mode now. And now you want to hold shift, the left shift, and we're going to click on this. So now we see little Hans, all right? There's little Hans. So this action was never saved. I don't think we have one, so let's add it, okay? And you want to call this one... Oh, wait, I think I made a mistake. Yeah, well, whatever. Okay, you want to call this... Wait a second. Okay. You want to call this one walk. Enter. Yeah. So the 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 deal with the walk animation is that we want him it's to. It's a zero zero one there. Oh sure. Did we create two walks? Oh dear, oh dear. So the problem that we've got is that this walk applies to the other character. Hmm. That is so not. So we could go walk hand hands. That's not great. We need to make a bit of a change here. Okay. So let's go file save as, and rename this one to Hans with a capital H. Hans, hit enter. Okay, save as Blender file. So now that we've got Hans, what we're going to do is we're going to delete all of the other actions, okay? And we're also going to delete the enemies. So goodbye, Mr. Enemy. So will we have to make him, him again? No, 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 no. Uh, we are just keeping him in a different file. Okay, yeah. so I've deleted the other enemy, and now we need all of these actions, and we need to remove them all. So um, let's go here or whatever. Hold shift. Thanks, please. Okay, so this, and now I'm gonna go to the various different actions here, various actions. So action one, I think was the same. So I'm gonna go to this action, I'm gonna remove it. I think we need to hold shift. So hold shift, okay, Re release. Yeah, yeah, it's become a zero, okay. Hold shift, okay, release. Yeah, see it needs to become a zero. Hold shift, release, okay, and now, Hold shift, delete, okay, so this one's gone, and this one will do too. Hold shift, delete, okay, and hold shift, delete, okay. So now all of them are zeros, you see that? Okay, mm -hmm. so let's go back to this one, rename it to walk. Now I think we should probably keep into account the fact that we're going to have to have a walk the opposite direction. Uh, Spectre, yes, we did all of our rigging, skinning, and animation. Well, the rigging was done automatically. Actually, that's not entirely true. Even the rig was kind of done automatically with the um, with a plugin for Blender, which is called. Uh, wait a moment, I'll show you now. So we're gonna go to object mode. We're gonna shift A, and we can go to armature and human meta rig. That is if you enable Rigify, and I'll show you how it looks like. It looks like this. So it's a very, very complex mesh. We have simplified it severely because we need something much simpler. That's basically it. Okay, so what we're going to do now, Zoe, is we are going to uh, reset, um, save this file, and we're going to close it, okay? Because when we reopen it again, and now it's going to appear here, when we reopen it again, okay, it's going to do what? It's going to show us only this animation, okay? Now, vice versa. But now versa. we need to make up the M Mr. Enemy. Yeah, no, we many enemy is already here. You just don't understand how this works, do you? I've saved this. I haven't overwritten. So here we're gonna delete hands. This is the enemies, okay? 
we're gonna delete his armature okay and now we're gonna go back to the enemy pose the thing and here are his poses now action here this is Hans's action so let's hold shift and press X save and close now this enemy is gonna have those animations but should we call we need to change it from characters to enemy uh, I guess call it Walker hit enter okay now let's go back to and call this one Walker too. Uh, it'll fix itself then the, these are these are just files that blender creates so Hans let's go take a look at him so for the model uh, that's fine now rig animation type generic no humanoid uh, and we are gonna go create from this model sure hit apply I don't know why I can okay I can be configure okay all of the bones have already been detected because it's all been done correctly that's why you rename your bones okay so that unity can figure them out right away character is not in T pose that's fine done okay now animation import animation that's good don't import the constraints that's fine so we've got walk and the fault take let's remove the fault take and there's the walk it's now going super slowly if we speed it up oh that's too fast look Oh, oh, something's wrong with his mustache. Mm -hmm. One of the mustaches is kind of weird. Okay, so let's see if we can import the constraints and hit apply. Maybe that's going to help us. Nope. Nope. So there's a little bug. Every now and then they happen. Um, not sure why. I wonder if it thinks that that's something else. Let's go take a look at the rig again. Configure. Spine, 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 shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. I don't see anything that has to do with the face. So I think we're just fine. What is this? Head. That's the head. Yeah, we're fine. No problem. Okay, done. The rig is fine. The animations, we're going to have to go and look why one of the mustache is, m mustaches is sort of down. Mustaches? Mustache? Yeah, that's really odd. Uh, let's take a look at the model. Double click on Hans and Blender will open. Yeah, well, something's wrong. Something's badly wrong. He's totally smiling there. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on. Envelop, roll, radius. Hmm. So everything's working fine here, so I'm not really sure. But it could be the constraints. I know that Blender has some issues with its constraints and how they pass on the other side. So that could be an issue. I don't know, frankly. Last time we saved the thing and everything was correct. But uh, it was a I'm not problem. sure. We never checked it in Unity. So it looks fine here, but you see here the mustache is bonkers, and it's still bonkers. It looks like is he supposed to be smiling? He is. Right. So if we go to pose mode, it's supposed to be smiling, but he doesn't. Okay. So let's see if we can rotate this a bit more. Let's rotate it this way. So he should be said, I lock rot scale. Okay, let's rotate it to here as well. Go I lock rot scale. And here as well, rotate R. I lock rot scale. Okay, now go control S to save. Now let's go take a look. Huh, no difference. That is very strange indeed. Very, very strange. Well, we'll worry about that later, I suppose. It's a small detail, so. Uh, but I'm going to have to find out why this isn't working. I know it's not our problem. Well, I, actually, wait a moment, because now it's kind of behaving correctly. So hit R to rotate. Uh, actually, not on this one. Let's do it on the first frame. R to rotate. Okay, and let's do it like this, so it's properly wrong. Hit I, lock rot scale. Okay, here's walk, save, control S, hit enter. Okay, back here, let's take a look. And there's Hans, and he's simply ignoring the movement of the stash. Oh, no, it's not. The stash is now detached from the face. Yeah, I'm absolutely certain it's the constraints now. So what I'm going to do is we're going to Alt R this one, Alt R this one. Uh, hit I hit I lock rot scale. Now let's do Alt 
are both of them i log root scale and alt r both of them alt r i log root scale okay save and now what we're going to do is we're going to be a bit careful in how we move these guys all right but we're going to remove the constraints because my guess is that okay so i'm going to remove these constraints and uh, i'm going to leave these though so let's see if this is going to work a bit better there now the mustache is fine right and let's see if he smiles well we need to make him smile he's still not not at the moment. Hit, hit, rotate. Don't you see that the animation isn't smiling? Yes, but the others were. Okay, so like this. R. Okay, select them both. I, lock rot scale. Now copy these animations, paste them here. I, lock rot scale. Paste them here. I, lock rot scale. Save. Is Hans going to smile? He's smiling only from one side, so it's not the constraints. Something isn't working. Hmm. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm going to check this in future. Right now it's pointless. I don't want to waste the entire day on this, okay? So, we have this little animation and that's just fine. The problem with this animation is that it's a little bit dull, a little bit boring. It's sliding from one position to the next. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to give him a few intermediary positions. So hit G and move this one to the right. Hit G again, move this two to the right. Okay, and now here in the middle, we're gonna create a new thing. Now, when we jump, obviously, because we're Hans, we skip because we're all happy, right? So we're gonna lift Hans from the ground a little bit, like that, okay? So we're making the jump animation? No, no, it's still the walk animation, but he's sort of skipping. A little bit now let's see how and we if can he dies will he still die with a smile <laughs> obviously no we'll see okay so let's rotate this leg a little bit like this maybe this leg a little bit like this no actually maybe this one needs to be close I'm not um, wait a moment I'm not sure so let's undo these two so his legs are literally in the middle so let's do I lock rot scale for the spine here okay and now let's see how this looks like Okay, so he's going up, you see that? Mm -hmm. um, now I probably should put him to go up in the other motions, but I'm not sure. So what I want to do is get stuck like an old man. No, okay, so here is 13, yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's see how this looks like. Okay, see, that little skip in his step, that's really helping. So let's duplicate this and drag it right here. Okay, now we may need to copy pasta it and flip it on the x-axis, which makes no difference. Would you say pasta? Copy pasta. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. See, now it's looking like he's walking a lot more than before. Yeah, but his head is like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. But you know, he's happy. He's just sort of shifting his head. We'll see about that, but I'm much happier with this. Look at him. He looks like he's got a proper skip in his step. All right, so now the issue that we've got a little bit is... Let me see. So, yeah, the problem is our jumping is happening exactly at the wrong time. We need to, I think, be higher. Um, uh, so here, right? And here we need this foot to be on the ground or not? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm fairly sure we're doing it exactly the wrong way. <laughs> but it is kind of funny, so I'm kind of liking it. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> I like it. Okay, yeah, I, I quite like it. So let's see if we can make him do something with his head, you were saying. So his head rotates too much on the other side, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so like this. let's and rotate next. his neck like this, maybe a bit to the side like this. Okay, high lock rod scale, let's see this. There we go, see, he's facing the camera. <laughs> I like it, okay. So let's do some other little details. For example, let's have him um, uh, shift and lower his shoulders. Now that he's jumping, right, we're going to rotate his shoulders down just a little bit and his arms out just a little bit. And this shoulder maybe up just a little bit like this, okay? And I lock rot scale. Maybe we can even rotate this arm 
up a little bit like this. I log root scale. Now we're gonna copy all of these, right? As we did before. Actually, we can just hit. Sure, we're gonna leave them here. Okay. Now we're gonna copy this, this. Uh, sorry, there. This, 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 and this. I'm gonna hit Control C, Control V, flip it on X axis. Uh huh. I block root scale. See, now it's the other way around. Let's see how this look looks like. Look at him. Look at him shift those shoulders like a champion. Boink, 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 boink. He must be uncomfortable to la to walk like this all the time. <laughs> well, you know, he's a cartoon. He's a game character. He doesn't care. He just walks that way. He walks with with zeal, with style. Okay. Now, what I would like to see is here if we can keep that spine low, one frame before it goes high, or maybe here. So let's grab the spine, focus, let's grab the spine, drag it down a little bit, okay, and let's see if we can get this foot to move further back a little bit quicker. So we're gonna take the thigh and rotate it, okay, and move the foot up a little bit like this. Now you may say, Mike, this is like excessive detail, what are you doing? No, 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 no. In animation, these things are super important. These little details that you do make your character totally come alive, even from a distance. Okay, so we're gonna put this here, and again, we're gonna copy, paste, and flip the next axis. I lock root scale. Okay, so let's see how this goes. There we go, look at him. What do you think? I think it's good. Mm. <laughs> I like it. All right, so shall we see how this looks like in game? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's and see. And then we should make him move. Let's hope that all of our bones actually came across. Oh, I've got an idea. What if we duplicate the animation and see if that works? Yeah, let's try that. Let's see if we can, if we can do that. The mustache though is moving a bit weird for now, but anyway. Anyway, we should probably also make him blink or something like that every now and then, right? So. Let's give him one blink in a certain point. It'd be much better to blink randomly, but we're going to make a simple game for now, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't want to do anything too complicated. When should he blink, in your opinion, in this cycle? Remember that the cycle is very short, okay? So the cycle starts here, ends here. So he's going to be blinking a lot if we make him blink here. Or we can like increase the duration of the cycle. We I think we should increase the duration and make him blink like here. One time in the middle, okay. So I'm gonna duplicate this entire cycle. So he's got two cycles now. We're gonna have 26. I don't know if this is 26, 25, 25, doesn't particularly matter. So we should blink here in the middle, you're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, now to blink, we need one frame, okay? So we're gonna go here on this frame and here we're gonna blink. So to blink, we need to scale these guys down. Now to do that, we're going to change the median point to, let's see individual origins. No, that doesn't help us. Let's see active element. That also doesn't help us. Hmm. There should be a way to resize on only that axis, but I'm not sure how to do it. So to resize, you press S. Oh, the eyes are going bigger or smaller. Now smaller would be cool. The problem is it doesn't really Why help us. Why can't we us. go with the eyes? Is this local? Is it done locally, this? Maybe. What do you mean? I don't understand. Like a squish. Yeah. Yeah, with Z. So we're going to do Z. S, Z. Okay. Now, I think it needs... <laughs> he looks, hey, man. <laughs> S, Z. And now let's do S, X. Hmm. Rotate X. Okay, something like this. Yeah, it looks like he's blinking right now. Yeah. Hmm, I think we should have a, a, another bone for the eyebrow, but whatever. Too late now. Okay, S, Z. <whistles> he looks a bit silly, doesn't he? Okay, and now rotate. <laughs> 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 I like it. Okay, I, lock rod scale. Okay, and now we're going to grab these two again, and we're going to duplicate them and put them here. Okay, so you'll see. Did you see blink? Look at him. Mm -hmm. He's blinking. Okay, and every now and then we should also move the stash just a little bit, like a twirly whirly, like you know, a bit up and a bit down sort of thing. So here in the middle, let's lower this one a little bit, like that. 
And here at the end, let's lower this one a little bit like that. And then maybe here we can grab them both and just increase them, put them, oh, we, we blocked them. Um, all right, sure, let's leave that there, fine. Let's just, uh, let's here, let's twist the eyes a little bit. A few details just like that, right? I, I, lock rod scale. Aye. Aye. And now these, whoop, the, the other way, lock rod scale. Okay, so I think this is pretty good already. Look at him blink. And the mustache is moving up and down, doing all sorts of dances. And so is his tummy. So it looks like he's slowing down. This won't happen again. Oh, oh. There's something wrong with his foot. Something's wrong with this foot, I think. This leg is moving a bit weird. So let's pay close attention. Uh huh. You see that? Mm -hmm. Here. So here we made a mistake. And it's gone all the way forward. Right? So that's a problem. So let's see here. It goes down. And here. It goes down. Okay. It snaps. Yeah, this one is wrong. All right. So we're going to rotate it back. Hmm. Wait a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this die over here, and I'm simply going to delete this one here. There. Okay. Okay. And there should be this problem again. I'm expecting it here. There it is. Okay, I'm going to delete this thigh over here. And where's the other thigh? Thigh R. Aha, uh -huh. so that's the issue. This one's going down and this one isn't going down. This thigh here isn't going down on this, on this thing. And the foot is wrong as well on the other side. Okay, so we need to delete this foot and this foot. And here we need to take this particular thigh and put the foot on the ground. This is the right thigh. So we're going to put it here. And the foot, we're going to lift it up a little bit. OK. OK. I lock rod scale. And now we can duplicate these and drag them here. There. OK. Let's see. OK. That's correct. OK, so you see how he's looking to the left of him, right, Zoe? Mm -hmm. To the right of him, my bad. So this is going to be his walk to the right. Mm, you know what I think? I think that the position of his spine when he's in the start and middle positions is too high. That's what I think. So let's lower it just a little bit. Just a little bit. And it's, it's perfectly fine that we're lowering it sort of randomly, you know, because uh, that way it feels even more sort of asymmetrical. Generally speaking, we don't walk in a regular fashion as human beings. So you always want this sort of sense of uh, walking weirdly. Let's do it 25 so it should loop properly. There you go. Look at him. Look at that tummy shifting about. Hans needs some cheering up, says says our audience. Well, I don't know what that means. Um, anyway, so here we go. Back we go to here. And let's see if those must what happened to that mustache. So Nothing. Let's... So now it's wrong. The time is all wrong. Okay. So I don't remember there's a way to reset it. Uh, I don't think so though. But we need to shift this to the end. Yeah, this Hans definitely does need some cheering up. It just refuses to be happy. Look at those shoulders though. <laughs> and his feet are like squashing. I quite like it. <laughs> okay so this is the walk on him for now so do we have a loop yes we do mm -hmm. bake uh, root transform original the loop match is kinda so it's not perfect but it's okay it should manage to do it when it's yellow it will be able to um, approximate to it fairly accurately okay so now we're gonna hit apply okay so Hans's walk in animation is here Okay, now what we need to do is we need to create a new animator, duplicate this one. Actually, no, don't. Create, um, where are you? Animator controller, rename this one to Hans. Hit enter, okay. 
So now we're going to change the model of our protagonist to Hans. To do that, we're going to go to our models, grab Hans, and drag him in. Literally that. <laughs> okay. The, the old model is still there. That's okay. The old model can go. Goodbye. And here's our buddy Hans. Okay. He, whose butt is facing us. The butt is facing us. That's an issue. Uh, we're going to have to rotate him uh, in various positions. So you see the forward here? We're going to have to rotate him on the y-axis. We'll worry about this in code. We're going to have the code do that. Okay. Uh, we are going to give Hans the Hans animator. Okay. And now we need to animate, check the animator for Hans. So here we're going to create a new state. We're going to create, we're going to create an empty state for now. And we're going to rename this one walk. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take a motion. So we got two of them. That's a problem. We can't tell which one. But we can look here. This Hats. one is in Hans, and this one is in Walker. So we want so hot, hot. Hans. Okay? But it's a good, in, good information for later. We need to kind of pay attention to these things. Uh, speed 1. I think it'd probably be funner if we put it at speed 1.5. And now, watch. When you hit play, look at Hans. Walking in the air. <laughs> okay, so that's funny, but we got a null reference uh, because we don't have a model. So here you want to type model. Hit enter. At least I think so. Oh, character motor. Did we delete the motor? I don't think so. Isn't the motor here? Yeah, it's here. I don't know if it gives me. Sorry. Okay. Okay, it's working now. So if you move around, Hans moves. Right? So we've got a bit of an issue here, which is uh, Hans is uh, facing the wrong way. Right? Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do, therefore, is we're going to turn him around to face in the direction we need him to turn. He's walking pretty fast. He's running. I know. That's fine. He needs to be all skippity skippy. Okay, so let's go to our character motor. Uh, yeah, should we do in the character motor? Maybe. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, okay. Spectre says that he was saying that before when we were trying to fix Hans's mustache. Well, that's all right. So character controller, that's Walker. We would probably need something for our main character. So let's add, copy this, paste it here. Oh, wait a moment though. I think the character motor already has the animator, doesn't he? I'm not sure. Probably has the animator, right? Yeah, I remember. There it is. It. Get component animator. So animator, we've got it. Um, hmm, so no, we were not going to use this. Save. Uh, but we are going to need to know which character type we are. I'm a bit concerned here. I don't want to make this too complicated, you know. But we should check the direction of the velocity on the X uh, to give a direction to the character, left or right. And we should also automatically rotate it. So we should have a model. Where is the model? Let's take a look. Ah, here. Animator. The animator is our model. Uh, and we can rotate this guy wherever we want to. But we only need to do it if the character should rotate. Mm -hmm. So maybe here we should add a bool that says uh, um, face direction or something for forward and back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, maybe not a bool then. But then again, the character controller has all of this information. Now let's do it here. Okay, copy all this again. Paste it here. Say Hans. Hans. Save. Okay. So here you go. Serialize field, private float. Float. Okay. And uh, private float. What are we going to do? We are going to call it, actually make it an array, make it an array. Yeah. And uh, uh, face rotations. Let's try that. Go face rotations. Yeah, no. No equals for now. 
we could put a default value but i don't want to do it yet uh let's create a public float and go current face rotation or current facing rotation current not float actually sorry int int current facing rotation semicolon save okay so the current facing rotation needs to be calculated all the time all right and we are going to have the other other guy do it but this guy remember it okay so the character motor is going to do it now what we also need to do is we need to enable this stuff there needs to be some kind of bool so here go public bool and go uh, facing rotation or rotation which is much better facing rotation Spectre asks us does unity have the ability to blend animations cuz that be even uh, cuz it would be even more believable if walking animation had start and stop transitions rather than instantly changing the animations or speeding slow in it yes spectre blender does allow you to blend animate blender i'm sorry unity does allow you to blend animations and we'll show you how to do it very soon uh, if we manage to get to it today otherwise it's going to be next time but we're definitely going to do that we're going to create an idle cycle and then we'll be able to go from idle to walking or running depending on the speed you're moving the stick so the answer is yes so what were we doing stuff um Right, facing rotation, current facing rotation, and face rotations. And what else are we going to need? That's it for now. So, if facing rotation, this is important, we're going to go to the motor, motor and use that. Okay, so fixed update, set up and alive. Perfect. Okay, and for now, we're going to do it really, really, really simple. Okay, at the end of all of this, yeah, right here. You're gonna say if now I don't remember what we call the controller, but I'm guessing cc if cc dot facing rotation. Okay, that's it. Close round, opens quickly, close, save. Now, so if we're facing a rotation, right? Now we need to check which rotation we're facing. So we're gonna say uh, cc dot current facing rotation. Yeah, equals uh mathf dot um you want to call it uh before we do sign we need to do uh round to int there it is open round mathf again dot sign open round and here we're gonna say uh, input whatever it is. Just type input. Nope. Movement input. CC movement input. It's in CC though. So CC dot movement input. Movement input. Yeah. Dot x. Close the round. Uh, close the round again. Semicolon. Save. Now, we've got a problem because current facing rotation could be negative. So that's an issue. We can't really use that, okay? So it needs to be either zero or one. Zero, it means we're going left. One is gonna mean we're going right. So the sign isn't really gonna help us. But we can fix it very easily. No, we can't. We can't. So we are gonna have to do another mathf here. So go mathf. Uh, open a uh, clamp zero one one down here open close okay so three mathematical functions except this one is unhappy because it's not an int so cut uh, this put it here now it's happy save because clamp zero one produces a float 
So you're giving it a float, you're getting the sign, which also produces a float. Now the sign can give you either a negative one or, pl or positive one, remember? Mm -hmm. Right. So what happens if you clamp negative one to zero one? Then it will become a zero. That's right. So we get an either a zero or a one. No other option, right? And therefore, if we go on left, we're going to get zero. If we're going to right, we're going to get one. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to say... Um, we're going to say, uh, let's just rotate the model. I think that's a good idea. So let's go to animator.transform. Animator. Animator per. Or topper, yeah. Animator.transform. Dot local rotation. Equals quaternion. There it is. Dot Euler. Yeah, and wait, I've changed my mind on something. Um, let's go back to the character controller. You see how here we've made it into a float? Mm -hmm. Put this a vector 3. It's cheaper. Okay. Save. So face rotations. Okay. And here you go. Face rotation. Um, CC dot face rotations. Dot face rotations. Sure. Mm -hmm. No. Is this going to work? No, it's a bool. Dot face rotations. Okay, is it serialized? Yeah, put it public. Copy this, we're lazy. Paste here, open a square bracket. Copy this, paste it here. Close the square bracket, close the round bracket. Semicolon, save. Okay, so this is the thing that we're gonna have to test a little bit, right? And <clears throat> it's gonna be fine. Uh, so let's go back to Unity here. Let's go to our player and you'll see the little Hans thingy will appear very soon. The Hans header. Your daughter is very smart, they say. Huh. That may very well be true. That's what we tried to do. So something is unhappy here and I don't know what. This makes no sense. Uh, yeah, so Unity is giving us trouble. Uh, it happens every now and then. Save this. Hook. Now look at Unity go like, man, your code is wrong. And we're going to go, I know. Save. And now Unity is going to say, all right, now I understand. No, wait a second. It's still complaining. Character controller face rotations is inaccessible. Oh, because we are dumb, aren't we? Save. Poor Unity. I'm sorry. I berated you, but you are correct. Unity is doing well. All right. So this is done. So face rotations. This is what we're going to have to find. Let's do two of them. Current face rotation, we can leave our own hands facing rotation. We want it on on hands, right? Mm -hmm. And now it's going to be 90 and 270, but I don't know which of them it is. So we're going to have to find out. Let's see, because now it's going to be when the character moves. OK, so mm -hmm. it's, it's literally backwards. And you can see another problem. It's snapping. Why is it snapping to one direction? Because the sign of zero is. Is plus one plus one. That's right. Okay, but we're getting there. Okay, so I got it precisely backwards. So 270 here and 90 here. Okay. All right. So moving to the right is working. And the speed of the movement is actually quite acceptable. Obviously, we haven't done a jump animation yet. So we'll worry about that later. How does now, he jump? He just jumps. And that's it. And now, we need an idle now, animation. Look at, look, look at moving to the left. Can you can't see, that? see his face. You can't see his face because we don't have a movement in the opposite direction. That's a problem. Okay? We're going to deal with that soon. Um, and he's, he's still sad. very sad. Poor Hans. Is he blinking? He's not blinking also. Yeah, he's not blinking. We've got problems with facial animation all over the place. This is very, very uncomfortable. I don't know why. I'm going to have to look into it. I love those little shoulders. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to need an idle animation and we are going to need to fix the problem that he keeps on spinning round. So that's a very, very easy thing to do. Uh, to fix the spinning round problem is we need to check this value. Okay, the problem is that movement input could be too low. So what we're going to do here is very simple. We're going to say if copy this paste. Now, actually, we've already done this before, so let's go find it because we're kind of lazy, aren't we? 
the absolute of it is higher than dead zone. Where's dead zone? Dead zone. Dead zone. Come out. Okay, I broke everything. No, drop the bottle. Control F, type dead zone. Dead zone. Ah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Copy this. Perfect. Paste it right here. Close the round bracket. Open it squiggly. Don't close it yet. Oops, I pressed control squiggly. Yeah, open it squiggly. Close it down. Safe. Okay, so the character is only going to turn around if our controller is, is moved enough. If it isn't, it's not going to do it. So let's see. Yeah, it's working. All right, so the issue that we've got now is that... Um, can I move him too? Uh, wait a moment. The issue that we've got now is that when we spawn, it doesn't happen. See? Mm -hmm. So we need to choose a default starting rotation. Let's make an idle. Well, wait a second, right? We need to choose a default starting rotation. I think that the default starting rotation is probably be simply 180. So okay. let's go to here and go public vector 3. Uh, does it need to be public? Public, probably. Yeah. Public, I see. Vector 3. There it is. Uh, space. And call them a start face rotation. 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 Semicolon. Save. Okay, so this one is going to be 180 uh, here, but that's no problem. We just need this particular piece of information, so copy it. And in character motor, as soon as we set it up, we're going to check right here. We're going to say if, no, undo, undo, just undo. If, open round, uh, cc dot facing rotation or whatever. There it is, facing rotation. Close the round, open a squiggly, close, save. Okay, and now we're going to copy a line. Copy this line. Paste it in here and CC start facing rotation. There it is. Save. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to assign it. So a new vector 3 is going to appear. A new vector 3 has appeared. <laughs> it's going to appear here. 180. Okay. Let's try it. Now he should be facing us. Look at him. And now we can move. Da, 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 da. One thing we could do is we could lerp these rotations. It'd probably be quite cool. But anyway, for now, this is simple enough and it's cool. All right, let's go make this idle animation. Mm -hmm. Cool. So here's walk. Yeah, I have no idea where those facial things are working. Wait a moment. Are they working on the little characters? The other ones? Because the other ones also have them. Do I they? Think. I'm almost sure they do. So let's go and open this. It, like it may be possible that they simply don't function, right? I'm actually not sure. Uh, we'll find out. So let's see here what poses we've got. So let's go walk, for instance, and see what we have. I think there was one thing in which he was supposed to smile. I'm pretty sure it was this one where... Yeah, yeah, the the eyes are being squashed a little bit and going sideways. Yeah, okay, so we can see this one. So let's try and see if we can find it in the animations from Walker uh, models. Walker animation will be turn around L. Now this is very hard to see because we're not importing the materials. So let's just import them or something. Apply. Okay, now we can see him. All right, so let's go back to the animation right here. Let's slow it down. Yeah, it's working. The eyes are actually moving and squeezing. Mm -hmm. It's working. So I think that the reason why it's not working on the other one is because it thinks it's a humanoid. But that makes no sense because one of the mustache is working. I'm really not sure. But what, what, you know what, what, one thing that we should definitely do, that we can do, is we can create the face as a separate model and rig it separately. So we can make his expressions be independent from his movements. I think that's a great idea. Okay. We can work it later. 
We'll worry about that later. Okay, so for now, let's go back and make an idol. We've got 15 minutes before the end of the show. Let's see what we can do, all right? So step number one, duplicate animation, right? Mm -hmm. uh, pfft, is it smart? Yeah, it's fine. So duplicate animation, rename to Hans Idol. Put an extra H, so Hans Idol. Idol, <laughs> no, that's the wrong idol, idol, this one. Oh, yeah. Uh, and put the word Hans, H is too, 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 too small. Yeah, Hans. Yeah, hit enter. No, no spaces. Oh, goodness me. All right, just the save. All right, so now we're going to go to the walk animation. Let's add the word Hans here in front. This may actually fix the mustache. <laughs> Who knows? Say, hit enter. Okay, and save. Control S. So now, since we're here, like, I just want to quickly fix this thing because everything's broken now. Right, our animator doesn't know which animation you're referring to. Uh, the model has forgotten. It's all, see, this one says walk, but it could be the wrong one. So we're just going to remove walk and we're going to say import animation and we got it back, right? So let's remove the hands yeah, and the hands walk. And now we need to reset it up. Original, 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 original. Yeah, that's fine. And hands idle actually should also be all original. Yeah, the mustache is simply not working. This is interesting, I have no idea why, but that's okay. Like I said, we're gonna fix it in a completely different way, which is gonna enable us to do all sorts of cool things later. Um, apply, all right, so we've got all of these animations done. Uh, and now let's go back to Blender. Oh no, uh, I wanna do one more thing. Animation, focus on the on the work we're doing, Zoe. I'll, I'll take care of that, I've already told you before. Okay, so here, change this, Hans, walk. There. Save. Thank you. All right, so here we've got Hans idle. The best place to start, in my opinion, for him being idle is the T pose. So hit A to unselect all of these, B to box select. Now again, thanks. Hit the delete key and hit enter. Here, hit A to select all the bones. Again, Alt R, hold Alt R, S, still hold Alt, G. Uh, so don't rock, lock, lock rot scale for now because we still have plenty to do. So here, sons. Okay, so how should he idle? He should just sort of breathe, right? I think he should just stand there normally. Okay. And I think the hands should move forward and back, though, like Mario's. All right, sounds good. Bear in mind that Mario is a super high quality game wrestler, so it's got all sorts of complicated, cool things. I know this doesn't need to be as complicated. Right, just saying. So I'm sort of moving his leg more towards the center. I quite like though the fact that he's got this, this sort of like manly fatty stance. And I like it, it's funny. All right, like this. Yeah, like this, okay. We're gonna use his shoulders to breathe most, all right? It's fine if there's a bit of clipping, that's all right. Um, now remember, we got the thing that we need his head to face us, right? A little bit. So just a little bit like this should be okay right now should his head be tilted forward or backwards a bit I think it should stay how it was because okay. he's idling okay I think a bit further down makes sense because you wanted to breathe right yeah, now yes. for the shoulders I think we should probably rotate them back a little bit or forward no definitely back yeah back it gives him an imposing pose as we can see, Hans here is a very imposing fella. Am I right or what? Okay. Like this, and maybe up just a tiny bit. He's very fat from the side. Oh, yeah, we like him fat. Mm -hmm. Fat fat is funny. Your dad is fat. He's funny, sometimes. All right, here we go. Good. So this is the starting position of idle. Now, A, I, lock, lock root scale. I've already done A. Escape, you need to, no, you broke everything. Hit A. Now I, now look what I say. Okay, so we got this. Now, like every good pose, it needs to end in the same position. So hit Shift D over here. Let's move it to 24. 24 frames seems like a sensible thing to do. Uh, actually move it by one more. G, G, there, okay. Because for some reason, Bl Blender is one based in animations. I'm not, sure 
Why? Maybe the Alidal animation could have his head rotating from looking at the camera to looking straight ahead. Uh, maybe. Uh, that would probably be a lot easier for us. I don't know, frankly. Um, the thing is, I would like to have inverse kinematics with the face actually being sort of separated from the body, but I suspect that's far too much for Zoe's understanding, and frankly, I would need to research it as well, at least at this time. So I don't know that it's a great idea to make it much more complicated. We'll see. For now, we're going to try and keep it consistent with the other one. So it makes some level of sense. If he just faces forward, we're going to see the side of his face, and I'm not sure this is going to look that good, especially because our character is square, uh, well, cubic. So when you see him from the side, you literally don't see any of the features that make him feel like a character. That's why I'm tilting him a little bit like so, so I can always see his expression, right? And that's kind of the important bit, I would say, or one of the important bits. At any rate. I uh, think he should idle towards us, though. Is he idle towards us? Yeah, well, we can always make him rotate to idle towards us and have some kind of transition animation. But he's only on idle towards us once when the game starts. Then he's always moving to a side. So... If you're moving him, but if you stop him again, then he's idle again. N yeah, well, sure, but idle doesn't necessarily rotate him to 180, which would be the, the thing. Uh, we're gonna If we're doing that, we're going to have to do all sorts of lerps, which is fine. But we're going to have to make those because you need to understand the animations and where the character moves and how the character is facing is entirely independent. Like they, they, they don't communicate with one another, the animations and the direction you're facing. The direction you're facing is, is, is you, you code it in yourself. That's why we put those like 180, 270, etc. And by the way, we don't have anything that makes the character rotate gently. Our character goes blip, blip, just flips on the sides. Mm -hmm. Which I think is okay for an arcade game. Anyway, let's carry on. We don't have much time, so we want to be a bit quick. So here's him idling. Now, what we need to do is we need to find a couple of interesting things for him to do. So I said he should move his arms like forward and back. like. Yeah, forth and back. Yeah, but his arms is easy to say. What does it mean? Is he sort of tilting forth and back? That sort of stuff, right? I don't know. So let's see. Try and rotate this a little bit. Whoop. <laughs> Okay, now rotate this a Looks little like bit. Looks like he's falling. I know. Now rotate this a little bit. Okay, so I'm straightening his legs again. Um, now rotate this a little bit. We're going to go the opposite direction. And rotate this a little bit. Rotate this a little bit. And rotate this a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to straighten his back. Rotate this a little bit. 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 Um, rotate... The, I don't know. Rotate this a little bit. Z. Where's the other clavicle? Okay, rotate this a little bit. Z. Okay. And now rotate this a little bit. And rotate this a little bit. I'd like to rotate... Rotate this a little bit more again. Okay. So A, A, I, lock rot scale. Okay, now let's see how this feels. So the problem is this is going far too fast. So hit G. Okay, let's see this. So if he's going back with his arms like that, he should actually go backwards in his body too. So this doesn't make sense. Rotate. Ah, uh, no, let's leave this one alone. Rotate this. I, lock rot scale. I think it was just rot scale. Hit I again. Yeah. Okay, now let's see this. There, that makes much more sense. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do now, because we're a bit lazy, we're going to use a few tricks to make this a little bit more interesting. So hit G here. Move this one around. Hit G again. This one around. Hit G again. Hit G. Hit G. Hit G. G. 
G G G You moved every G G G See Did you see that? Mm-hmm. It looks a lot more like whoa, this character looks like super cool animated. This is look, look look at his chest sort of like shifting about as he flexes his powerful muscles. Look at him. <laughs> Let's move these ones too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but no, you can't move those. These you need. These are your start and end, right? But it's it's actually quite good. It's already decent, I would say, right? So <laughs> we can add more cycles and make it more interesting. But this is a little trick that I've learned. Uh, basically, you can take a certain animation you make a few poses and then you randomly distribute those of course sometimes it doesn't work right you want to pay a bit of attention but by doing this you give it the sort of this alive feeling right because everything is slightly off sync just like you when you move in real life right because mm -hmm. you're not perfect right yeah you just you're moving that's uh and uh yeah so this little trick has really really helped us in my opinion this particular animation looks quite pretty Look at those shoulders. Look at them, how expressive they are. I love how he's flexing his pecs. <laughs> 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 he's funny. I'm here to stay, fellas. Yeah. Okay, so let's give it a save. I don't think he looks like he would have a, he would have a very deep voice. Uh, thanks, Spectre. He says, GLHF. Do you know what that means? What? Good luck, have fun. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so what were we doing? Can't remember. Right, back to Unity. So we've got the idle animation. Oh, I was, I was literally, we were literally going to make the uh, transition animations. I'll tell you what. I it's... think we should wait for 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 the audience for next time so they can see how we blend from animation to animation. Yeah, because the other guy wanted to. That's right. So we're gonna wait until next time to do the rest for today. Here you go. You can play as Hans. It's not perfect, but it's something. Oh, now he's just idling. That's fine. Look at him idle. I'm jumping. Doink. Whoa. You're dead. <laughs> I'm idling in the air. You're idling and then it's dying. It's quite harder to destroy Hans. He... Hey. What? Look. What? I'm not pressing any button. In yeah, his... but it may be Mr. Dude. It may be the other controllers it moving It probably everything. is Mr. Dude. Is it still happening? No. Nope. Yeah, it's Mr. Dude. It's one of our controllers is broken. We call it Mr. Dude. Remember, okay. you have double jump. Whoa! Oh, Hans survives. There is nothing destroying the Hans. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there is a lot of something destroying the Hans. <laughs> I don't know what that means. All right, thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you again some other time. Um, well, not some other time. Next Wednesday. At 7.30 p.m. Uh, Mountain Time for the next episode of D&D. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.